You guys have probably all heard the saying, you get what you pay for, right? Well, in most cases, the same thing applies to homesteading. If you're trying to raise high quality food, it's typically going to come at a higher cost. Today, we're gonna break that rule a little bit. We're gonna tell you how we're raising pasture raised eggs for absolutely free. guys good morning welcome back to the farm beautiful saturday morning here in pennsylvania i had to check my watch it's still may um, end of may may 25th and today like i said in the intro we're going to show you how we're producing pasture raised eggs at absolutely zero cost so yesterday um, and this is where this video is actually stemming from my wife and i um, stopped in at whole foods um, picking up a couple things Obviously, we're not raising everything here on our farm, so picking up a couple grocery items, and I just happen, you know, I always check out prices on, on meat and kind of compare basically what, you know, the higher quality meats are gonna be, higher quality eggs. So I just so happen to walk by the egg um, section, the refrigerator section, and I see pasture-raised eggs, $10.99. Yes, I said that, $10.99. So you could easily go ahead and say, you know, Whole Foods, you know, they're just usually more expensive in general. That is true, but like I said in the beginning, you get what you pay for. They typically will offer a little higher quality items, um, at least for most things. The egg carton did say um, organically, regeneratively raised, um, pasture raised, and so forth. So I don't doubt that it was a pretty good product, but for $10.99, I mean, that's just craziness, guys. That is absolutely insane for a carton of eggs. So let's dive into how we're raising eggs. Um, and these are as close to organic as you can possibly get without probably calling them organic um, and I'll tell you that I'll tell you why here in a second um, but let's dive so into there's it. two key components that are gonna go into a high quality egg and most importantly a low cost egg so I'm gonna talk about how we're doing it for free but at the very least this should help you drive your cost down and it's not exactly rocket science in, in fact the process itself is very simple so first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, as always, is determine you know, how many eggs would I actually like to have. That's gonna help you get um, a number of how many birds you're gonna get. So right now we have one rooster and eight hens. Um, we do only have nine chickens because we're typically getting about seven to eight eggs a day. Your chicken's gonna lay about an egg a day. Um, that's, that's what most birds will produce, obviously depending on breeds. Um, there's, there's different variations there, but most egg layers, Tractor Supply is very good about this. Um, if you're getting your birds from Tractor Supply, they're gonna pretty much only sell you high production um, birds. But once you get your count, then you can kind of figure out, okay, what type of space am I going to need? Now, when it comes to spacing on our farm, I don't do anything to restrict um, their spacing. They have free reign of anything here. In fact, chickens will continue to expand you know, their territory to the point where I'm looking at the road where we're sitting right here, about 100 yards away, and you know, there's a chicken over there right now. So they're all over the place. We do have a fence here, but it's not designed for the chickens. This was our original sheep pasture where our coop is. Um, so they pretty much are most of the time outside of the fence anyway. So the reason I bring this up, pretty much you know, the rule would be the more space you give them, um, the more food they're gonna get on their own, the more nutrients they're gonna pick up on their own, and your cost is going to go down. So unlimited spacing here, and I don't wanna say unlimited, but close to unlimited spacing um, in terms of, of chicken life. Um, but they're gonna go out, they're gonna find pretty much any sort of nutrient that they're gonna need. Chickens are omnivores, so they're gonna eat um, bugs, they're gonna eat worms, they're gonna forage for, for natural grains that are kind of growing up here, seed heads, things like that. And you hear all the time, you know, chickens cannot be raised solely on, let's call it grass. Well, if you have them free ranging, um, yes, they're not gonna just eat grass, they're gonna eat bugs. And this brings in our second component. I mentioned it here, our sheep are in here. And I'm surprised they're not down here right now. Anytime I'm talking, usually I have Daisy right here on my hip, but with the sheep in here, and I've, I've put a video up on this before, um, and I'll put a link up, raising chickens with pigs, um, which is gonna be our third component. 
but anytime you're putting animals in with your chickens, what's gonna happen? There's gonna be manure. Um, that manure load is gonna be filled with, especially when it warms up like this, I'm getting swarmed with flies right now. There's gonna be flies, there's gonna be maggots, there's gonna be all sorts of stuff in that manure. The chickens, as gross as it sounds, guys, this is reality. They're going to scratch through that manure. They're gonna eat um, whatever is in there. A lot of times that's gonna have a very high protein content, which is really gonna help um, develop high quality eggs. So as they're scratching that manure out, they're, they're getting all sorts of nutrients there. Again, they're, the grass in here, um, they're, they're picking off seed heads, they're eating worms that are in the soil. Obviously there's flies. I got my, uh, my ram skull over here, which is essentially a, a maggot bucket, um, kind of the, the redneck version of a maggot bucket, um, but it's working very well. If you don't have all the space um, and you need to use a coop and run setup or a more confined area, just keep in mind, you're not gonna get as much natural forage. So by utilizing a coop and run setup, you might not get your costs quite to zero, but you can still drive your costs way down and produce a high quality egg. Daisy's jumping on me, but I'm gonna talk about that now. So the next piece to raising cheap, I don't even like that word cheap, low cost eggs, because cheap makes it sound like it's a, a low quality product high quality, low cost eggs. The next step is going to be locating a source of food um, that is going to be either free or again, low cost. So in our instance, what we're doing here, and I didn't say this in the beginning, guys, I don't feed these chickens anything. I feed them absolutely zero um, grain, zero chicken feed. I'm not going to the box stores and picking up chicken feed. Feed them absolutely nothing. I don't even have a feed dish um, in this pasture. So what I'm doing um, in turn are pigs. We've sourced uh, free brewer's grain um, from a local brewery. So when I feed the pigs, which are right over that way, the chickens come running. They're going to eat some of that grain. Like I said before, chickens are going to use some grain. So this is their grain source. And this is why I also said these aren't 100% organic although they are very, very close to it. The amount of grain that they're actually eating there, um, call it almost nothing, but it's just a little bit of supplemental grain. The pigs are gonna eat up most of that and then your chickens are gonna you know, pick up whatever they don't get. So that's gonna help, um, again, it's gonna help give them their grain intake, but for the most part, you know, again, they're gonna forage in this pasture and get their nutrients that way. So you may be wondering, well, I have no use for brewer's grain. I don't have pigs. I'm a, a small homesteader just starting off. You don't need to get brewer's grain. That's our example. And you know, everything I kind of show on our channel is how we're doing it. You know, it's not a, a one way model of, of doing things, but the key is we're sourcing that stuff for absolutely nothing. So again, zero input to these chickens. And the fact that I don't have to feed them just saves us time. We got so much going on as Daisy is just jumping all over me here. Um, we got so much going on though that I really, you know, anything I can cut out or automate, that's what I'm going to do. So the point, if you can source free food scraps, you know, free, call it bread, whatever from grocery stores, maybe a local bakery, um, anything like that is going to be just enough to give your uh, chicken supplemental grain. Daisy, you're eating my watch. Supplemental grain and it's going to be just enough for them. If you go without feeding them anything, and I've I've done this, you know, before I got a hold of the grain um, and before I had the pigs here, you're not going to get the best quality. You know, they're definitely going to need a little bit of grain, um, but you'd be surprised how little they actually need in the grand scheme of things if you give them enough pasture. So to sum it all up, you know, it's a pretty simple formula you can take from this. The more pasture you give them, the more space, the less input. Obviously, if you restrict their space more and more, you're gonna need to put more and more in, but that shouldn't turn you away from getting chickens for your first time. Again, ask your friends, your family, any type of food scraps, anything you would put in a garden or a compost pile, give to your chickens. It's gonna give them extra nutrients. Um, if you get some rice or pasta, um, stuff that people will um, throw out, that little bit is all they need. You know, They really don't need that much. You don't need to go out and feed them pounds and pounds of grain every day. Feed's expensive. It's, you know, close to $20 a bag for a 50 pound bag. So let your chickens forage, utilize scraps, utilize your resources. 
and you can achieve a zero or at least a very low cost egg. And last thing I'll remind you, this is the way we're doing it. It might not work for everybody. You also might not want chickens running in your yard or in your driveway or whatever it is. We're in a pretty remote area, so we're able to get away with it. Um, but I completely understand the, the, the restraints um, that some of you may have. But again, the, the key here, try to source some free food, try to source some free grain. Daisy, you're nuts. Um, and let them out on whatever pasture space you have and you're gonna have better results. So while you might not get to zero, you're at least gonna drive your costs down. You're gonna stop paying $10.99 for high quality eggs. I would challenge Whole Foods any day that our eggs are equally, if not better, um, in nutrition content, but that's for another time, guys. So thanks for watching us. We appreciate you following along. Anyone um, that is unfamiliar with our channel, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. You can see our crazy sheep here. So we do a lot of sheep content, chickens, um, pigs, anything homesteading related, projects, you name it, reviews. And we're gonna go ahead. It's early yet, so we got a lot of work ahead of us for the day. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.